what is going on guys and welcome back to another video as you can tell from the title we have a very important installation that could possibly save your Subaru. Now, if you own a Subaru, I'm sure you've heard these things going around. It's nothing really new. Um, pretty much everyone that I know that owns a Subaru has installed it, and for some reason, I just haven't yet. And that is a Cylinder 4 cooling mod. Um, it's been sold out for a while. They finally got it back. I just got mine off Rally Sport. This isn't like a sponsor thing or anything, but a lot of people said they've had a lot of good results. And what really pushed me to really get this thing is uh, when we went to Lake 2 this past couple weeks ago, um, I was having pretty much just some cooling issues. My car was running really, really hot, and um, I pretty much just couldn't run AC. I had to turn the heater on to get it running cool and stuff like that. And people have said they've seen lower temps uh, just by installing this, and obviously Cylinder 4 is going to run the hottest, just because that is the way Subaru designed it. There is pretty much just a design flaw, and uh, Cylinder 4 just doesn't really get that good of cooling. So you're going to tap in to the back of the head with this guy here. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And um, we're going to see if this actually gets some results. I know my exact temps and where they stay. We're going to see if it actually drops down a little bit by installing this guy. We're going to hope for the best. Now, this should be a pretty self-explanatory install. There's literally just a galley plug in the back of the head, which is going to be on the driver's side right back here. Uh, it's easier to access it from the bottom, and obviously it's going to be easier to actually drain some coolant out of the engine side, which I'll show you how to do. Um, so you got to definitely get this thing jacked up, just the front, just right there. And where we're going to drain it from is right there. The OEM like oil cooler line. That's where I'm going to drain it from. I don't want to drain radiator side. I want to drain engine side. I don't want to do a full flush because I literally just did one. Um, and that'd just be, that'd be overkill. So that's where I'm going to drain it. I'm going to loosen this guy up right here. This is the hose. That's the one you want. So I'm going to get this guy off here with some needle nose. Uh, get this guy draining. Want to do that? I'm gonna move. I'll just show you right now. Let's see if I can get a good and come right back here. See trans. Let's see if I can get my hand right there. Checking my finger and focus. Anyway, there's a guy plug right there. That's when we're getting out. Alright, finally got it, and uh, I realized these little ridges on the pan holds up perfectly, so I tried to not spill that much, but it's inevitable. When the coolant goes, it really, really goes. So, anyway, I gotta clean this up real quick, letting this drain, uh, and then we're gonna get that plug out. A uh, little galley plug in the back of the head right now. Finally got that plug out, it's a 12 mil hex. Um, I ended up actually getting it from the top, it was pretty difficult. Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean it took a while, but I finally got it. When I did the engine reassembly, maybe I tightened on too tight, or maybe they're just tight normally. Um, it did have some Loctite on it, so now throwing on some uh, some Permatex, some gray um, as just a sealant and kind of like a thread locker. We're gonna thread it in to the hole in the back of the head. I'll pop up a picture right here of what I'm talking about, and then we're gonna go ahead and continue. So today is the next day. I'm not entirely sure what the last clip was, um, but I got the uh, Sonar 4 cooling mod fully installed. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. You're going to use, uh, there's two hoses coming from the firewall. There's one that's kind of a little bit higher than the other. You use the bottom one with the black pipe. That's the one that goes to water pump, I believe. Anyway, that's uh, that's the one you need to go to. It's the it's the further most bottom one. It's a black pipe instead of the silver one, which I'll show you guys right now. Just you T into it, pretty basic. The reason why I waited an entire day, um, I was just letting the Permatex Gray um, just seal, pretty much. Um, I was letting it cure, and I know it probably cures pretty fast, but I just want to wait 24 hours just to make sure, um, make sure it's a good seal. It's not going to leak. It was pretty difficult getting that little piece in. I know there's another company that makes one that's more like an AN fitting, which might've been a little easier to actually screw in. Um, just, it was kind of difficult to get in there. But uh, anyway, it's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right now. Then we are going to need to bleed the system. That's probably gonna take a while. Gonna let the thermostat open, get all the air out of the system, because we definitely introduced some, um, obviously doing this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys what it looks like real quick. That's it. 
that is the one. You could see um, it's the black. There's the black. There's the silver. You know what I'm saying? Black silver. It's kind of hard to. Can you can you focus? Anyway, it's that one. You can see it teed in right there. Cylinder four cooling mod kind of snakes down into the back of the cylinder head right there. Man, that's really hard to see. You guys can't even see it. Anyway, there's the pipe coming up. You can kind of see teed in, ready to go, ready to go. All right, so I topped off the coolant. It is now pretty much at the very top here. And how I actually got it kind of draining, you can create a kind of like a vacuum by squeezing the upper. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the more you do that, pretty much the farther it will go down and it'll fill up the entire system, fill up the engine side. And um, it's probably about a gallon or so if I had to guess. So now we're gonna go ahead and start it up, get the heater on full blast, get everything circulating. Hopefully we get some bubbles coming out of here. Then we'll go for a drive and see what the temps are at. Then I'll get the heater going on full blast, get everything circulating while I'm also checking to see if we are leaking anywhere, uh, specifically the spot that I took it off and also the oil cooler line that we put back on in the bottom. I'm gonna check that out right now. So far, so good. A little bit of the coolant is kind of burning off. You can see right here that I got on the headers from yesterday. Um, so that's gonna need to burn off. We're good. Now I just threw the heater on a full blast. Uh, make sure obviously the AC button's off. And uh, temp is slowly rising. And uh, we're gonna see if there's any bubbles coming up. So far, so good. We're gonna wait till the thermostat obviously opens up. And once that thermostat opens up, we'll, you will see the coolant level go down. And uh, that's how we know that mostly all the airs are getting, all the air bubbles are getting out. Had the thermostat open and we did get some good bubbles coming you can see right there all right thermostat opened up level dropped immensely honestly adding obviously that new route of the coolant maybe it's, it'll take a little bit more i'm not really sure um but either way definitely getting some good bubbles levels going down again i'm going to keep filling up the system making sure it's all topped off and um, hopefully we get all the air out of the system Thermostat just open, and now you can see the level is gonna come down. A lot of bubbles coming up, but this is now the third time thermostat open. Level rises, level goes down. And we're gonna see if it goes all the way down to a perfect level. Let's see. Should be pretty much right there, and it looks like it's at a really good level right now. Might top it off just a little bit more, let it cycle up and down again, and uh, it's gonna be pretty good. All right, she's all good to go, all bled. This one should be good, no more bubbles. I let the thermostat open me about four or five times. I let it cycle through and make sure it is ready to go. Now we're gonna be cruising. Honestly, I'm not seeing uh, any cooler temps, um, but I mean, as, as long as the temperature in cylinder four is cooled down, obviously we're getting better circulation. That's all I really care about. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm not seeing any uh, lower coolant temperatures than I normally do. Thermostat's still opening at the same number. We're gonna go ahead, drive it around, maybe give you an update in a few days or so to see maybe if it does get lower. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead, cruise around right now, and uh, see how she runs. So right now, cruise around at a 194, 192. Um, car's feeling pretty good. I'm not noticing, obviously, anything real different besides just looking at the coolant numbers. Car feels good. I'm gonna go for a little cruise. Maybe you guys can hear a little, a little turbo. Maybe we'll do a little dirt gear. Little, little action. Hold on. Nothing better than a little turbo on a. What's today? Turbo Tuesday? No. Oh my God! It's Friday. Hold on. Hold. Hold. The... Don't text and drive. It's Friday. Wow. I don't know where I'm at. That was Tuesday. Anyway, we're gonna cruise around a little bit. Uh, so far, so good. Coolant obviously hasn't spiked. I'm not smelling coolant because I think all of it burned off already. Um, I'm gonna cruise back to the house. 
and uh, you know check for any leaks obviously the areas that I touched and that little Y towards the back uh, we tapped in I'll see you guys when we get home just kidding maybe one more pull for the boys a little second gear a little oh god oh god I can't do this with one hand sheesh and I went into neutral on accident god I can't do this hold on oh shit Oh, the other thing that I did that I didn't even show you guys, I just did it off camera. Sometimes I get bored. I moved my access port over here and I actually fished it through this little guy here um, because like my main thing is cable management. I want everything to be clean in my car. I don't want to see any cables. I want to want to see anything. So that's why I had the access port in the center. But what's cool about the STI gauge is you can see, watch, look at the shift light. Can you see that? Hold on. There's a shift light right there. And what's cool about that is you can adjust it and it also makes a little ding, ding, ding. Like it makes a little like beeping sound, which I think is pretty cool. And um, I just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit. I know a lot of people liked that placement, um, but it is pretty cool to see actually full STI gauges there. And if you're wondering what those lights are, that's airbag light because I didn't put a resistor in with the airbag. And the other one's rear diff temp and I just forgot to ground it when I installed my gauges. But that's, you know, the other story. Uh, anyway, yeah, but I, I think I kind of like the displacement of the access port over here. I think it's pretty sick. All right, I'll see you guys when I get to my house. All right, just pulled up to the house. We're gonna go ahead and see if anything is leaking. Screw, screw. Get the freaking keys out. The beeping is annoying. Let's see. Okay. Well, no smoke, so that's good. And we'll check back here, make sure the Y is doing good. Like I said, this guy here. And looking pretty good. Nothing looks like it's leaking. And check over here. Everything's looking pretty good. All checks out. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Everything is checked out. Would I recommend the modification? I would say yes. Obviously, anything to benefit your cooling is in my opinion, obviously a must have mod. It is pretty cheap. I think it's around like 85 bucks or 80 bucks or something like that. Just got mine off Rally Sport. Um, so as far as right now, I'm not seeing like my coolant is running like any cooler, um, but apparently it's like 30 to 40 degrees hotter in the cylinder four than uh, the other three. So obviously it's a good preventative thing to do and um, it is pretty cheap, pretty easy to install. Kind of hard to get to, but Overall, not the hardest thing to install. So I definitely recommend it. I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace out.